You're listening to the When Life Hands You Lennon's Podcast. But in an entry-level film production, it's one strike and you're out. You're fired. I'm not calling you back. If your goal today is to make a basket, we're going to make that basket. The minute you create something, as soon as it's made tangible, you have a copyright in it. How do I get our guys to sound that big, you know, that full when they do the harmonies? And I'm your host, Lennon Seahawk. Let's get to the show. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of When Life Hands You Lennons. I am absolutely thrilled and ecstatic for this episode. I am still coming down off of the excitement from this conversation. This week's episode features Matthias, who is the lead vocalist for the Italo Brothers. And for those who don't know who the Italo Brothers are, they're kind of a a Euro dance group uh, based in Europe. And I have been a fan of them for years. They are one of my favorites. I have a ton of their music in my library and have followed them for, like I said, years. In fact, they're one of the groups that turned me on to dance music. And they still, to this day, keep me in that dance realm. So I was absolutely thrilled to sit down and have this conversation with Matthias um, and hearing his story, hearing how they really got into the nit and gritty uh, of starting up the Italo Brothers, how the name came about. Uh, We talk about what it's like creating in coronavirus. We talk about him creating music. This is his full-time thing. It has been for many years. The transition that the Italo Brothers have went through and also their new label deal with Virgin Records on Universal Music Group. And we get into that, like the nitty gritty on that and how the creative direction goes and if they still have full control or if it's kind of over to the label. Um, and we talk about some of the new music that is coming up as well as their newest track with Kaiza. Well, depending on what time you're listening to this, it might not be new anymore. But at the time of this podcast, their newest release is let go with Kaiser. So we talk about that and that collaboration as well and the track and how it's uh, so much different than their typical Eurodance music. So again, I am just still just absolutely excited for this conversation. Uh, like I said, I've been a fan of them for years and uh, I'm, I'm so excited to share this with you. But before we do, I want to remind you to please sign up to my mailing list. You can find that on my website, which is lennonsiak.com, as it helps me notify you when new episodes like this amazing conversation are live. I would also appreciate a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts, as it helps the show get discovered by new listeners. And also follow me on Instagram. I am working on posting some new content and sharing my daily life there. So if you're interested in that, I'm always happy to answer any questions there as well. If you have any questions about the show, if you share the, if you share the show, tag me in that. I uh, would love to interact with you and see how you're discovering and learning what you're learning from the show. And lastly, if you or somebody you know would be a good guest for the show, please fill out the guest request form also linked in the show notes below. So... Without further ado, it is my great honor to introduce Matthias from the Italo Brothers. Let's jump in to the show. Uh, I'm so excited that you were able to, to jump on and uh, chat with me. Um, I've been a fan of the Italo Brothers for, hell, years. Seriously? Probably, oh, yeah. Uh, Stamp on the Ground is, is one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> Thank so you. So that's such a classic. Um, and just, just the Euro dance genre in general is just uh, like Cascada, Empire yeah. One, that type of thing. It's all uh, nice. kind of right up my alley. I love that kind of music. So Great to hear that. Yeah, this is great. I'm so excited to chat with you. Glad we could make it work. Um, sure. First of all, uh, for those who are listening and don't really understand or know much a lot about the genre and what you guys do, tell us a little bit about the Italo Brothers, um, and then we'll kind of stem from there. Yeah. I mean, the Terra started in 2005. That's us. That's three guys. We started in a, in a basement in a small town called, called Norton. That's where we, yeah, we all grew up. So we, we started in the basement just doing some Italo dance music, have been pretty inspired by yeah artists like Gigi D'Agostino or Gabri Ponze. And, and we really liked that kind of music style and decided to, to go for that. But that was just, it was just for fun. 
I mean, no one had any plans of signing any label contracts or doing bigger things out of this. It was more like, let's make some music for ourselves so we can listen to it in in the car, for example. So it was seriously just for fun. It took us two years till one of our friends took a CD <laughs> to the label in, in Cologne, Germany and showed it to, to, to some guys love from, from Zuland Records. And then we got a call and I took the phone and they were like, hey, it's us from Zuland Records and we heard some, some tracks of you and are pretty blown away and uh, would like to sign you on our label. And I was like, okay, and they asked us about the name. And I was looking at the other two guys, Chris and Zach at that time. And I was like, they, they want a name. <laughs> <laughs> they want a damn name. <laughs> Help me out here. And uh, so, so we were like, yeah, yeah, we do something with Italo dance. And the other guys were like, yeah, it's just brothers. And I was like, yeah, Italo, Italo brothers, because, you know, Italo dance. And we're like brothers to each other. So uh, that's, that, that's how it should be. So they, they wrote Italo brothers in the contract. And since then, um, our name is Itzeller Brothers, and uh, that's when things, uh, yeah, actually changed that we made released. It, you made it the government name, <laughs> yeah, as they usually yeah. say. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, so, did you guys know each other? Did you guys go to school and stuff together, or how did you guys kind of meet? Not, not really. It's actually more our parents that okay. that know each other or knew each other at, at that time. Um, Christian invited me to his studio. He's the one who owned the, the studio at, at that time. And I was like, oh, wow, I'd really like to see a studio like this. Personally, I was just singing by myself uh, in the shower while doing homework, listening to the radio, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Chris invited me to show, to show me his studio. And I was, I was like, wow, that's really interesting. And, uh, and, and he showed me some tracks that he was working on. And... Uh, yeah, catch me while I was just singing along. There was nothing that I thought about at all. I was just inspired to sing, you know, that 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 vibe get, that you get into. And I was like, oh, that's a cool, cool cover of Tracy Chapman, I Belong to You. Yeah, I remember it very clearly. So I was I was singing to that. And, and he was like, you step over there and take the mic. And then you do exactly the same than you did like five minutes ago. Sure. And that's how things started. And uh, then, then we started recording our own tracks. And yeah, I mean, I was like 16 years old at that time. Wow. Yeah, and now I'm 32. And that's what we've been doing the last 15 years. Yeah, that's... And you guys, you guys do it full time, I'm, I'm assuming? Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Um, uh, so, it's a fun story. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I think for a lot of musicians, it's kind of a dream to be able to do music full time. And it's not something that is easily attainable. It takes a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. It uh, does, yeah. Um, so tell us about the creation process for you guys. Like, are you writing the lyrics? Who's doing the producing? Break us down with kind of who's doing what. Is it kind of all a team yeah. effort? Like, what's it like? It's actually a bit a big team now. Now we're four guys. It's okay. uh, Chris is still there. Uh, Zach is out doing some medium music now and uh, decided to leave at uh, at a point. That was in 2015. So Chris is still there, and we added uh, Dietmar and Hanno. Hanno is doing the production. Dietmar is doing a big part of uh, lyrics. Chris is a singer songwriter still, as he has always been, and uh, I'm I'm a part of uh, of writing lyrics and uh, doing singer songwriting too. So um, that's how we all come together. So actually, we're four guys working mm -hmm. on on the tracks uh, that we do. Plus, uh, if it fits some extern uh, songwriters, singer songwriters from Germany or other places. So mm. that's 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 how we work. And these days, it's. Yeah, a lot of Zoom because I'm based in, in Denmark and the other guys are still in Germany. So uh, we're Zooming a lot. Yeah, sure, yeah. We do, but it, but it works pretty well, to be honest. It, I'm surprised that it's, that it's working that good. Mm -hmm. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a nice, it's giving, giving different possibilities, new possibilities. Also, when, when touring, I mean, sure. now, now you really consider if you should if you take your external mic with you and actually use the time that you have at the hotel or even in the backstage to to just yeah to just be creative together yeah. so um 
that's that's something that we learned the last month, definitely. Mm-hmm. And you you do all the vocals, right? You're the singer. Yes, I do. Yeah, okay. that's that's been the case since D- the very first beginning. Yeah. Okay. And does anybody else sing, or is they do they just like oh you we'll leave it to you? Uh, they they do sing. Chris is uh, Chris is singing, but uh, he never really felt like like being on stage with his vocals. He's like sure. more more singing for himself on weddings. Sure. Um, but uh, big crowds, that's not really his thing. So okay. <laughs> so it's me that has been on the vocals from the first beginning. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so what's i know you said that it's been interesting during the pandemic and with all the whole change and no touring and all that stuff uh what what's it been like in addition to that like what are what other things you're doing aside from zooming like are you guys doing socially distanced meetups at the studio are you just sending files back and forth like what's that like that that that's actually how we do it sending files back and back and forth as you as you mentioned i mean that we considered meeting up like some weeks ago. We're like, yeah, the situation is okay. We can probably meet up in the studio. But in the end, we were like, ah, it's just just not the right thing to do. And, and it works over Zoom and Skype. And let's just keep it that way. And I mean, you're you're an okay contact this way too. I mean, we, we're talking a lot and it's it's fine. But for, for example, the other two guys, they have been to an extern songwriting like a week ago where they wrote two songs and I couldn't be part because uh, I was, I was off and had, had work to do and, uh, and my daughter at home and, uh, and they send the instrumentals now by a, by a Dropbox in different heights. And uh, I have my vocal booth here at home so I can find the right height for, for me and just do some demo vocals so they can use it and send it to the label. And, and it works pretty fast. I mean, I got the instrumentals uh, this morning. I did recording like eleven or twelve, and <laughs> and send it back. So at at two p.m. we were done with that. So it's 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 pretty fast, and that's how it works these days. And that's and that's cool. We're really really productive. That's great. Yeah, yeah it yeah. sounds like you can kind of just pick up and work at your own time, you know. And you're able yeah, to spend- it really it really works. Yeah spend time with your family a little bit more and just yeah uh, absolutely you know i mean because it, it sounds like when you're if you have to go to the studio you have to be there for the whole time and you know maybe they're tweaking the mix and fixing stuff in production and then you're just exactly. sitting there kind of twiddling your thumbs like when do i yes. get to go on exactly uh, yeah. so how long does it typically take are you able to record a vocal in you know an hour or two hours or do you sometimes does it take you longer are that really depends on the track yeah sometimes it's it's really done after an hour sometimes you're so so focused and working on perfectionist that you that you mm-hmm. would like to spend longer on this so you you take like two hours and say oh, give me one more take I, th- I think i can do it better and then it's like the third hour and so it really depends on depends on the track and what uh, hanu as a producer also also can hear on on the recording if, if that's fine and that what he needs. So I, I trust in what uh, what he says. And if he says, "Hey, Matthias, it's it's enough. I got mm-hmm. I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of lines here. So that's that's <laughs> so fine. Yeah, then that's just how it is. But sometimes I'm yeah I'm a little uh, perfectionist and, and try to do a bit better and just give me one more take. And I think I yeah. So very motivated to do it as best as as, as yeah as good as I can do. Um, but uh, it's Hanno who uh, takes the decision in the end and says, "It's a wrap. It's a wrap. That, Get out bet- of there." <laughs> <laughs> sure. And I mean, you don't want to go back to a track and listen to it and just hear that one part and just cringe, you know. Or when yes. you have to perform it, it's like, "Oh my yeah, gosh, I wish I would have done that differently." Just one more time. Yeah. Just one yeah. more time. Yeah. Yeah. As mentioned, Hanno. <laughs> <laughs> no no uh, it's uh, yeah it depends on the track um and are you recording the tracks yourself or do you have somebody kind of helping you or are they doing it remotely controlling like a logic or pro tools for you we we record on ourselves yeah okay hanu, hanu has all tools he has a studio working with uh, with logic and uh, yeah wow that, that works he's very good in in editing uh, vocals and uh, that isn't a problem no interesting so how 
are you guys doing any type of performing now? Are you doing like live streams or conferences, anything like that? Or are you just focusing on writing music? Yeah, we, we have been writing a lot of songs since March. I mean, we are up on 19 tracks now since March, oh, which wow. is like more than more than an album. And uh, yeah, as mentioned, we've been really productive and that's uh, that's what we've been focusing on. Uh, but we had a few shows up in Scandinavia, up in, in Norway, performed eight shows all in all. Big time restrictions, uh, max 300 people uh, mm. sitting around the table or standing on the table, but they had to be at the table, 10 people maximum around one table, f- face mask when you go into backstage, when you leave backstage. So, um, but But it was actually... It was it was cool for me because it was just nice to be on tour again. I mean, mm-hmm. if there's three hundred, if there's five thousand, ten thousand, these days it's just nice to see that people enjoy live music and yeah. that they that they really want to go out and just have a good time and they don't really care about the restriction. I mean, they care about it, but sure. but they are fine with it and and they they're just happy that there is live music. So so they enjoy and when I can see that they enjoy. I have a really good time on stage too. So it was it was nice to to go on tour again. Also just to see my tour manager again that I haven't seen since the beginning of, of March. And we've always called each other. But it I mean when you've been on tour with the same tour manager for yeah, like 10, 11 years every weekend regularly. And then you really get to use to each other. And when you don't see each other for like four or five months, it's like, whoa. Mm-hmm you gained weight (laughs) 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 no it's just uh it's it's just nice because a big part of of all this all this music life uh, artist life on on tour is is like 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 being together and enjoying time there's a lot of time that you spend aside of being on stage and uh, that's yeah big time missing on, on on both sides so it was cool to to just be on tour and and live like a regular life to get back there just for yeah for two weeks it was and then the restriction restrictions have been that tough again that it was not possible to get up to Norway because I crossed the red zone in Copenhagen and Denmark which means that you have to be in quarantine for 10 days and they oh. didn't make it possible for us to go back to Norway and yeah it's it's a tough time when we talk live gigs but uh yeah, that's what what we've been doing live. Interesting. Well, so I mean, these people become like family, and then having to like not see <laughs> them for yeah. you know month, even months. That you know, yeah. six months is not that long a time compared to 10, 11 years. No, no. But no. it feels like forever when they become family, and you know, just FaceTiming and calling and zooming is just not the same. Absolutely. Uh, than working with them on tour. So I mean. At least you guys can do live shows, correct? It's like, what's yeah, the, yeah. What yeah, yes, the, yeah. We, we can, yeah. I mean, here in the States, we can't even do live shows yet. Uh, oh. It's, yeah, we're, we're still way behind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're still quarantining. Like, there's no live shows. There's no gatherings. They still have businesses shut down for, you know, yeah. non-essential businesses. And there are certain states that are, have more, have less restrictions than, than certain other states, yeah. but it's still pretty locked. There's no live shows going on at all. No, not at all. No live um, music at all. No, unfortunately. So we're kind of resorting to like live streaming and some people are socially distancing like drive-in shows. Uh, like yeah. the Chainsmokers did that in New York, but they got uh, hammered down because they didn't follow protocol. And yeah, yeah. so unfortunate. But yeah, no matter uh, what you try and how, how you try it, it's uh, yeah. You have to be aware that you might get the middle finger back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's just like you just got to be careful with other people's health and safety. Um, yeah, absolutely, wh- most important. So, what are the restrictions there? Like, are they easing up? Are they getting better? Like, are you guys on the road to fully opening? Are you fully open? Not at all. We're no. actually going back to March, April month now. Oh, wow. where we, yeah, where they have to be more strict about restrictions again and um, have to close businesses again. And uh, yeah, it's different. I mean, now I'm in I'm in Denmark. Um, it's it's okay up here. Uh, it's 
it's worse in Germany and it's like two hours drive from mm. from here so uh, restrictions here are that you have to wear a face mask in public transport uh, and when you enter a restaurant uh, sure you can take the fast face mask off as soon as you sit at the table but um, when you go into shops or yeah do do the groceries you, you don't have to have to wear a face mask up here in Denmark in Germany it's a different yeah it's a different thing yeah. that's why you have to wear a face mask always everywhere and all the time so when I had my family up for for visits some weeks ago they they really enjoyed because they almost have forgotten how it feels to to go without a face mask so they were like oh can I just enter this <laughs> shop without? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's it's it's fine here. So, but yeah, they, they couldn't believe it. So they they it's it's crazy to see how how people get get used to to the new yeah. situation and the the restrictions. And so I yeah, I, I even talked to friends that were like, I'm, I'm I'm not even sure if I miss this going out any longer, like going to clubs or something. I mean. I, can't even remember how that feels so that's that's really scary when when i hear something like this like yeah we're partying at home and that's so fine i mean the booze is cheaper and we got our spotify list so it's all fine and i mean if you want to meet a girl I go on tinder or facebook and so yeah. so what what do i miss here so that's that's really that's where i think okay damn <laughs> it's six months but <laughs> you changed you know it's like yeah. Yeah, the mindset is already uh, completely different, and I'm, I'm very excited to see how, uh, how we get back to to normal on on some points. Uh, hopefully, let's let's see how all this uh, turns out. Yeah, I mean here in Los, I mean that sounds like a a dream. I mean here in Los Angeles, uh, we have to wear a mask anytime we're in public. Uh, we have to go in the grocery stores. They still don't have. Uh, dining inside restaurants you can't go inside and oh, okay. it's, it's all like patio dining yeah. um which makes sense because los angeles kind of became a hot spot um yeah. but i think we opened too quickly but yeah it's just interesting to see how the other how other countries are kind of handling it and how everybody's life is kind of returning and in different stages of yeah. quote-unquote yeah. normal um yeah but anyways uh, so you guys have a new song that came out uh, with, is it true. Kisa? Is that how you pronounce it? Kaisa? It's Kaisa. Kaisa. Okay. Kaisa. Yeah. yeah. And I've, I've seen their name before um, yeah. and they've been on a couple other tracks. So yeah. tell us about that track because it's a lot different than your standard, like upbeat kind of Euro dance track. It's, it's got a very yeah. chain smokers vibe to it. I was listening to it. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, we've been changing style several times uh Sure, the last 15, 15 years always, yeah, did the music that we that we felt we'd love to do. I mean, that's 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 how we keep it. As soon as we feel oh, that's that's really cool. We got inspired by stuff as we did like back in the past. Where was Italo dance? We're like, okay, let's do Italo dance, and we're like, okay, EDM. That's really that's really coming strong. Let's let's try some EDM music, and we're like, oh, so we did like EDM music and turned the BPM number down and, and 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 thought yeah that's something that we can do too so we're changing all all the time and now we have a new management uh since uh, since last year it's like 10 10 months ago uh, big me uh, the guy's sitting in, in hamburg germany and uh have a new label deal with the uh, universal uh, slash virgin records uh, from berlin and um, it's like a, it's it feels like a fresh start Mm. Uh, to be honest, because we're we're a bigger team now and focused on to to get the the, the biggest thing out of it, and uh, always have also have opened for for a new style and for new input. As I mentioned, extern songwriting and so on. We've been pretty close the, the last fifteen years and uh, just decided to get some new input in. And that's probably something that you can hear on the on, on the new track too. So. Um, yeah, it's it's all a development. Uh, us as as humans, individuals, we've been developing the last fifteen years, and you you change uh, change your taste, and uh, yeah, that's that's just what we we really love right now. That that kind of music, and that's yeah, that's how we that's how we felt, and 
that's just why we wanted to do it. So suddenly there was let go released and mm -hmm. got a cool feature with with Kaiser on it. And uh, yeah, really blessed that that she's a part of it. So yeah, it's it's a great track and it's super interesting. It's a lot different than what you guys typically do. It's a lot <laughs> slower than what you guys typically yeah, do, but, but it but it works. Uh, it, it's really it's really an interesting kind of a summer summer track. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, the, so when, when you're working on and transitioning different styles, like how, what's, what's the transition kind of like, like, you, I mean, you know, it's kind of like you, you like that works. That's really cool. Let's roll with that. But how yeah. I'm trying to like, I, I got the wording in my head, but I can't get it out. So <laughs> let's go, let's go ahead a little bit. Do you guys strictly do it yourself or do you have influence from the label that kind of helps you direct or is it like strictly do they leave it all the way up to you guys they leave it all the way up up to us and that's something that really means a lot to us i mean sure. as mentioned we have been a pretty close projects the last project the last 15 years we're sure. like we do it ourselves and we want to produce ourselves we like to release it ourselves it's okay with with zuland records because they have been there from the beginning and they knew that's how the guys work let them do the work, it's going to work. Mm. Um, and that's that was really important when we uh, got into the deal with Universal that we still have this freedom that we can start at some point and do the music that we love. And uh, yeah, we, we have like big time output and then they can see if there's some something in this big pool of tracks that they like the most because all the all the songs that we put into that pool that's music that we really like and would like to release so they can they can pick and there's always a track or two or three that they really love and think yeah that works oh very cool because we we try so many different styles and and, and i'm not afraid to to try something new or yeah just go fast or go slow and i mean now we have like a, a pool of 29 tracks or something since december last year and uh, yeah, there's there's some some good stuff in in that map in that folder. So uh, it's just more about to find the right release date to to come with the with the next track. Yeah, and, and I, I can tell you, style is style will change also with the next with the next tracks. Might be there's one that's a little faster again because yeah, it's not like that we frame ourselves into that's how that's how it has to be from now on. Not at all. It's 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 uh, certainly going to change from time to time. Sure, and you got to go with what you guys feel is is good. Absolutely, and roll Absolutely. with it. You you listen to your own song, and and you 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 can feel something, hear something, and that's why you have to say, no matter what, we're going to release this now. Mm -hmm. And we know there's some some hardcore fans that have been following us since 2005 that would love. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> They would love uh, to get more more hands up Eurodance uh, music out of us. Right now, it, that's just what we what we love uh, to do. Is a, a song like "Let Go" was just just perfect and felt perfect for us, and that's why we release it. And uh, might be there is, uh, as mentioned, and the, the next song might be might be faster. Or we're back to hands up speed. Or, uh, yeah. We just go with the flow and 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 do. Do how we feel it's best yeah yeah uh and it, it's so interesting to how the sounds kind of evolve and i mean you can listen to any big artist like i i'm a big fan of kaigo and just listening to his music from when he first started you know five six seven years ago and first started growing to what he is now and it's like just his sound has changed so much <laughs> and it's it's so interesting because we as humans evolve and change with times and you know we just have our ears change and you know, we meet different people and we have different experiences and then that has to like influence the sound and our lyrics and vocals and just the way we do things. And I, exactly. I, think, that, I think that is so cool and that's what makes music such a great thing. Yeah, and also makes makes listeners to go on a journey. I mean, if I go on our Spotify playlist and start like from Colors of the Rainbow or the Moon, like back at 2006 or something, and you go through the tracks until today in 2020 that's like 
that the same band? I mean, even even my vocals, of, of course, have been changing the last fifteen years, and it's like, I think it's it's it's, it's exciting to to go on that journey. It's really really cool to to also listen to your own tracks, like from the very first beginning until now, because it's like, oh my god, have we have we really released that track? Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's embarrassing. No, no, but it's a. It's a cool, it's a cool journey, and every single track that we released, yeah, as mentioned, is, has been a track that we really loved at that time. And because it's our history, we still love every single one that we came out with. So uh, it's it's cool. We're pretty proud that we've been doing this for 15 years now. Because there's not that many bands, especially in dance music, out there that uh, have been have been able to do this for 15 years in a row. No, that's what I'm saying. I mean, uh, I'm looking at like Cascada. They're they're still around, still that's releasing true, music. Yeah. Yeah, uh, trying to get Natalie on the show as well. Uh, yeah. I would love to get her on the show. Um, I will let her know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. That would I would appreciate that. Give her that little push. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I love her. She's she's one of the main reasons that actually because I discovered her and her every time we touch that first album. Uh, yeah. It's a classic. It's still one of my favorite albums, and it is the reason I got into dance music and why I discovered okay. you guys. Uh, yeah. Became a fan of you guys because you guys are all kind of in that same genre pool. Listen uh, to this, yeah, yeah. I love, I love it. Uh, love her voice. Love the style. Mani and Yanu, all of them are just incredible. Yeah. Um, and cool. speaking of Color of the Rainbow, uh, I love that song. <laughs> it's still, I still have it on my Apple Music. Uh, I still listen to it when it comes up. I, I jam to it. Uh, it's, nice. It's a great nice. track. Still uh, catchy, huh? Very catchy. <laughs> very catchy. And uh, I think, what was it? When I saw you guys' name, uh, a publicist reached out, I think it was a week or two ago, and I saw him like, oh, shit, the Italo brothers, they're still going. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I knew you guys were still going, but I hadn't heard from you in a, in a while. And um, I'm like, oh, I love them. So I went back and started listening to all your old tracks, and uh, P.O.D. was in my library. Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. Another classic, uh, my, oh, one cool. of my favorites. Um but yeah, it's it's just it. I'm yeah. This is just so great. Uh, so thankful yeah. you guys. That we keep going. Attention. Yeah, promise. <laughs> yeah. So, um, with your with your new label deal, are you guys exclusive? Are you exclusively signed to to Virgin Records, or can you throw more music on on Zooland, or how does that kind of work? We we are exclusive on Universal. Okay. For the next years, yes. We, okay. We made a made a deal there. Yes. Okay. Um, and you guys, you said you're going to have some upcoming kind of dance. You're going to change to the slower stuff, some of the faster stuff. They're kind of giving you that liberty to pick and choose. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's okay. what makes it so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the, the ones working at Universal, they, uh, some of them have been at, at Sony before and uh, have been working with Summer Air. So they know the project and they know how it works. So um, yeah, it's it's nice that we have the possibility to to work free. So yeah, that's, that's cool. Helps helps a lot, and I think it's most important in in music that the artist or the artists can can feel that what they do, um, yes, yeah, still still matters most. I mean, that's most important. That what comes out of the studio that you really can feel. Okay, there was something something going on uh, yeah. you, that you can feel the creativity and the and the fun uh, around the, around a track and uh, yeah so that's that's really what we need else we wouldn't have uh, said yes to the deal so yeah absolutely so i mean obviously it's still crazy with everything going on and touring uh is still who knows um yeah, but, who knows? Who knows? Do you have any, do you have any gas, Lennon, when we, <laughs> when, we, when we are back to normal? Or what's your normal? Or is there any normal? I don't think there's going to be. Well, and then now our president, President Trump, got coronavirus like last night or something. So now the world is, oh, Jesus, it just never ends. It just doesn't yeah. end. All um, prices went down and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, everything, <laughs> everything is going down. Um, but... When it comes back, what what is a typical? What are you guys looking to do touring wise? Are you looking to you know release an album and then tour? Are you looking to just get back on and play some of the old stuff? Like what is what is that kind of hopeful 
dream look like? We're mainly focused on releasing uh, more tracks in a higher frequency, to be honest, like okay. every four months, for example, so that people don't have to wait a whole year. I mean, now we had to had to fix some uh, some stuff that yeah, old contracts in the past and so sure. had to be okay about us leaving and universal sure. and signing contracts there and there was there was a, a lot of stuff lengthy, and a lot yeah. of a lot of a lot of signings and you yeah paperwork paperwork and and cleaning up and so on so it has been has been a year since ocean breeze has been released and now it just feels so great to to be back where where you actually release music so we are so excited about about the next single uh, to be released but first of all we're looking forward to to see the the video for for let go uh, that's gonna be online i think the next two or three weeks um so we just we're just running again and that feels really really nice so i think we take one step at a time mm-hmm. And uh, mostly we look forward to, to the next single coming out. And uh, already now we, we know, yeah, probably know what, what the next single after that one is. So, so we're really excited to, to release music and show people that we're still here, still alive, okay. and uh, that we still can play with the big guys. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you guys are becoming, you're going to become a big guy. Uh, if you yeah. already are, you already are. Absolutely. Uh, so... You said you were going to release four tracks a month or just every month? One a month? Every fourth month, yeah. Every fourth month, okay. Yeah, just, that, would be, just... that would be something that I that I'd like. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a cool rhythm. Yeah, that's what, three, yeah. three a year? I think that's Yeah, yeah that's exactly. That's Not good. inundating yeah. everybody, and that gives you know, just, just enough for yeah, everybody yeah. To, to stick around. Ex- exactly, exactly. Give yeah. uh, every single song a chance also to, to evolve. And, and are you uh, are they all are you guys doing a lot of is it all originals are you doing a lot of features are are you having people featured on tracks are you doing remixes uh we're working on remixes too okay yeah uh next track is uh, gonna be original without any feature i guess okay might be that the next one after that one is a feature again uh yeah as as mentioned earlier we we just do how we feel is right and how, how the song sounds best. And uh, if we got the possibility, like for example, with, with Kaiser to have her on our track, uh, we certainly take that chance. And, of course. Uh, yeah. So we're really excited to see what's, what's going on. I mean, we're already in October time flies. It's sick. Suddenly there's Christmas and do you want to release music in December? And uh, yeah, it's, it's going so fast. The time is actually running too fast for how Corona evolves. It's like, we think, okay, you really have to leave now because time is flying and suddenly we're in April again and no one knows, are we back on festivals again or yeah, yeah, it's an, it's an uncertain time. So uh, let's see. I think I think too with with the pandemic. I mean, you guys have obviously been very productive, so that just makes the time go even faster. And you know, you're cleaning up yeah. old contracts and labels and signing a new deal, and that's hectic. That's that's a lot of work, and it just you know, it takes a lot yeah, of phone calls and meetings, and and then between writing new music and staying up to date, yeah. and you know, it's like oh, it's October already. Yeah, then, exactly. You know, it feels, Christmas feels so weird. Yeah, Christmas is right around the corner. Um, yeah. But uh, you guys, have you ever been to tour the States? Yes, we did. Yeah, it's quite some years ago, but we've been in Oxford, Ohio. It was okay. like a student, student party. That was really, really exciting. Uh, Chicago. Okay. Um, but that's actually the two places that we've been touring in the States. Yeah. Okay. And do you guys have any yeah. plans to whenever that happens to come back to the States? Yeah, absolutely. Would love to do that. Got some some possibilities, and also now with a new label, they they see us over in the states and would like to yeah. have us playing more shows over there. Yeah, but as said, when whenever there's a chance for us to just <laughs> normally flying over to the states, we we're gonna take it. Yeah, and 
yeah, crossing fingers that that's 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 very soon, so we can 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 be back on track and do what we love because we're really missing this. I can tell you, me as as a singer and as the the face on on stage, when you have been on tour for uh, yeah 10, 11 years straight every single weekend, and suddenly a virus pandemic says we just yeah plug out here and stop for a while uh, I, I could feel it on could feel it on my body like mm -hmm. it's like three weeks depression almost not mm -hmm. really knowing why do i feel that way what's going on with me but sure if there's 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 missing quite some stuff mm -hmm. people clapping hands and telling you you do a good job up there <laughs> <laughs> And the fins and adrenaline. Uh it's it's a sick feeling. So it took mm -hmm. me it took me some weeks to to find like a state of mind that things were okay and that I that I will yeah. that I will be okay again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I went through that too. Like in the very couple first weeks, I like created this huge to-do list of I'm like, oh, we're locked down. We can't go anywhere. I have to get all this yes, stuff done now. Yes. Uh, uh, and uh, a week or two after that, I realized like, oh, I'm burning myself out because there's nowhere to go. Like you can't escape from it. Like you can't yes. go and see a show to get inspired, you know, to pull yourself away. You can't go to a restaurant and eat. You can't, it's like you're trapped. So I, yes. I quickly learned that I'm like, I can't do that. And I, I backed off and just... You know, when I wanted to work on something, you just, you know, I, I got into a depressive state too. I think a lot of people did. Um, yeah. And, you know, you just work through it and keep your head up and exactly. uh, stay and positive. Wait. And wait. <laughs> as painful yeah. as it is to wait. Sit, uh, sit and wait here. Sit and wait. Yeah. Another day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I mean, there's only so many shows you can binge watch on Netflix. Uh, or yeah, yeah. Yeah. Been and, through all of them. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So, so uh, last kind of question before we wrap up, uh, I'll let yeah. you go for the evening. Um, and I got to start work here in about 45 minutes. Um, but what's, I mean, for the music videos, are you guys doing a music video for each track or, yeah. and what is, what yes. is that like? Are you, are these pre recorded? Are you doing, are they animations? Are they like in person? Like what are, what's kind of that process like? Um, we, yeah, we were pretty busy um, when releasing Let Go. As, as mentioned, there was a lot of paperwork to do and suddenly we got a release spot for Let Go. So we're like, we take this one, but we were not ready with the video. So we're like, okay, we're going to shoot this after. Um, that's that's how we how we did it. Uh, shot up here in, in Denmark, beautiful, beautiful spots. It's, uh, it's going to be a really pretty video, I think looking forward to to get this out and that's what we like to do with the next tracks too i think it's it belongs together even though there's not that much like video tv any longer it's for me it's 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 a package as soon as there's a track and a video to it i think people need it and yeah also for for youtube i mean there's a lot of views and streams going on on, on youtube too it's a big platform so that's that's our plan anyway, that we come with a video to every single song that we release from now. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that that makes sense. I like it that way anyway. Mm -hmm. And who are you? Do you guys have a lot of creative input for that? Or is it just kind of a, you kind of delegate that to a team? We really had a lot of creative input. Yeah, okay. got, got, got a few treatments for, for Let Go and uh, okay. choose one of those uh, really, really creative people that that have been shooting let go and uh, yeah as mentioned nice pictures and beautiful spots that they spotted up here and uh, yeah i can't wait to to get this video out and uh, see yeah how how it actually looks okay and you guys are you guys in the videos or do you just have kind of do you let it's me that's in the video okay. yeah yeah so uh, the the face of the project uh, is still me and uh, the guys in the back they like it that way and uh, i'm i'm used to that way too <laughs> sure. Sure. yeah i've been i've been touring touring on my on my own the last six years now so uh, yeah that's that's how it is yeah 
That sounds that sounds cool. Uh, I'm just it's just always interesting to hear how the creative process is working, especially now because of you know the pandemic and you know if people can meet up and all that yeah. stuff. So are you guys? Yeah, picking- I mean it was always it was it was also difficult to shoot the video, you know, right? Because of social distancing and face mask, and yeah. you had to do all scenes with like kind of distance and uh, weird, and it took uh, took longer time than it that it would if there wasn't a pandemic uh, and without face masks and with a lot of hugs and uh, <laughs> celebration when the video was, was wrapped. So we were like standing there like, Woo-hoo! <laughs> congratulations, well yeah. done. I would like to hug you now, but you can't do it. It's, it's, it's just weird. And Safety I'm looking first. forward. Yeah, exactly. And I'm so much looking forward to all, all this is over and I hope that it will be over at some point and have to stay positive but it's 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 a tough time and yeah. i mean we we're getting we're getting through this as as a band and yeah i mean we we also have income through royalties for example and the streams on spotify and and so on but i can tell you have a lot of friends that only earn money when they are really have their feet on stage and when they play for another artist and play any instrument or yeah do catering or do the lights and building stages and so on i mean some some of my friends they they moved back to mom and dad and yeah back into their into their room and it's just it's just weird i mean they they have been it has, it has been really working for for those guys the last 10 years mm-hmm. and uh, and now they are <laughs> fucked yeah so it's a, it's a weird time so let's uh, let's get through this let's stay positive and on the other side we're going to kick ass I'm yeah sure. absolutely absolutely yeah. it's a lot of a lot of musicians are releasing a lot of good music and uh, yeah. especially electronic artists they can you don't need anything more than a computer yeah, uh, exactly. to write music you don't like a yeah, live yeah. acoustic artist or a rock band yeah. A yeah. lot harder to write music in a computer than when you need an actual guitarist, yeah. a bassist, yeah. all that stuff. But actually um, standing in front of a big stage again, like on any festival and just yeah. having a good time, I can't wait. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure people will cry tears just by by the feeling that it's possible again to be back yeah. together and closing their eyes and enjoying music and just enjoying the moment. Enjoying time with their friends and yeah, exactly, and exactly. It's there's so much focus on this now, and it's uh, yeah. Let's hope that it's that it, that it turns out in a in a good way, and people yeah really really enjoy their time even yeah. more after this. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I mean, I can't wait till you guys come back to the states. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out for that. Definitely got to get Looking out. Looking forward. I will let you know as yeah. soon as I know more. <laughs> Absolutely. Whatever, whether that's two years from now or six months. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I definitely, definitely. I mean, we don't see a lot of like Euro dance over here. It's oh. just like even Cascada. I don't even know if they've ever been over here. Uh, maybe once or twice, but yeah, it's it's an okay, the, okay, long time ago. I think that they have been over. Yeah, yeah it's but it just doesn't hit over here that that well. I know like. Uh, like happy hardcore is picking up with like Gammer yeah. and stuff, but yeah. just not not quite the same. A little bit different uh, for me. But That's true. until then, um, I'll keep uh, help paying your royalty checks uh, by streaming. <laughs> Thank uh, you so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep that food on the table. I'll keep streaming so the music. Yeah. Yes. Um, cool. Well, this was this was such a great chat. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks. For, thanks for so much for being on the show. This is I'm so excited. Thanks for having me, to, Lennon. Got to connect. Um, and for those who are listening, can you just let them know how they can keep up with you guys uh, and follow all the great music that you're going to be releasing? Yeah, absolutely. Surely on, on Spotify, surely on YouTube, as, as we talked about earlier, the new video is coming very, very soon. Instagram and Facebook and so on. So let's meet over there and uh, always ready for, for a chat. Absolutely. Great. And I'll put all that in the show notes below so people can reach out and, and stay up to date with you guys. So. Thank you so much. Cool. Thank you so much again for being on the show. I look forward to hearing all the new music. Keep me posted and all that. Uh, and then when touring comes up, whenever that is. Uh, we'll do that. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there. And uh, yeah, have a good weekend. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.